Ooga chaka, ooga, ooga, ooga chaka, ooga, ooga chaka, ooga, ooga chaka, ooga, ooga Welcome back to Guardians of the Galaxy Month! So you're all excited about that new movie and you want a better understanding about that kick-ass comic group. Well, it's time for me to explain the current Guardians of the Galaxy team, their first major story arc, and then all of the rotating teammates of Iron Man, Venom, Captain Marvel, and Angela. But first, it's time for us to cover Star-Lord, Gamora, Groot, Rocket Raccoon, and Drax the Destroyer. Now it's time for us to talk about the talking raccoon that would have been one of the coolest Saturday morning cartoons ever. So first off, let's discuss where he came from. This is weird, but the creators were inspired by the Beatles song Rocky Raccoon. It's a fun little song about a young boy named Rocky Raccoon who lived up in North Dakota. When his woman ran off with another guy, Rocky headed off to get revenge packing his gun. He got into a shootout with the guy who stole his girl, and he ended up getting shot himself. But luckily, Rocky Raccoon survived. But of course, that was just the basis for the character. The real Rocket Raccoon first appeared in Marvel Preview number 7, named Rocky Raccoon. But in his next appearance in Incredible Hulk 271, we learned that Rocky was actually short for Rocket Raccoon. Now for his origin story and how he ended up with Star-Lord on the new movie. Rocket Raccoon acts as a guardian of the Keystone Quadrant in an area of outer space that has been sealed off from the rest of the cosmos. He is the captain of the Rack and Ruin ship with his first mate, Wal Russ, which is actually a talking walrus. The two of them come from an abandoned colony of mentally ill patients where the animal companions were genetically enhanced to grant them human level intelligence and give them bipedal construction to allow them to become the caretakers of these mentally ill inmates. Rocket was the chief law officer of this planet and he was charged with keeping the colony protected from various threats. Rocket finds himself in many outer space adventures, stopping the likes of Judon Jake with the help of the Hulk and getting involved in a battle known as the Toy War and eventually curing the mentally ill inmates of the colony. Once they cured the inmates, Rocket and his animal buddies took off for the stars to have many more adventures of their own. Somewhere in this time span, Rocket eventually met Star-Lord and they became good friends. Star-Lord suggested that Rocket join up with a new team that he was building and Rocket was the one who suggested they call themselves the New Guardians of the Galaxy after Major Victory suggested it. As the Guardians of the Galaxy continued to move forward, Rocket eventually takes charge of the group as Star-Lord goes missing at one point. During this time, Rocket brings Groot the Talking Tree onto the team and the two of them become the best of friends and continue the legacy of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Rocket then leads the Guardians through many more adventures, saving the Shi'ar Queen and working with the Star Jammers, which is actually a space pirate group led by Cyclops' dad. The Guardians would eventually disband and Rocket would team up with Groot to return to the planet where he started his life on. And here, Rocket would learn that his memories of being the chief of security for this planet were only half correct. You see, Rocket didn't actually save all the inmates. He actually left to keep an inmate known as the Star Thief locked up. The lock that the Star Thief was in turned out to be locked by Rocket Raccoon's biometrics. When he returned, Star Thief was then freed. But luckily, Rocket and Groot saved the day. When Star-Lord magically reappeared from the Cancerverse with Thanos and reformed the Guardians, Rocket and Groot were right there with him. And now, the new Guardians of the Galaxy is off for more crazy space adventures. Now let's go over Rocket Raccoon's powers. Contrary to what he likes to say, Rocket Raccoon is basically just an enhanced raccoon. This gives him enhanced speed, an acute sense of smell, sight, hearing, and touch. He's also an accomplished starship pilot, expert marksman, and he carries two laser pistols with him at all times. He's also a master military tactician and leader, which helps him run things when Star-Lord vanishes on his own crazy adventures. Oh, and if you're him in Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom, he has the ability to be really short, which makes him really annoying and I hate fighting against him. Now as for TV and film appearances, he's actually on the Ultimate Spider-Man voiced over by Billy West who is actually the voice of Fry in Futurama. When he showed up in the show Hulk and the Agents of Smash, he was actually voiced over by Seth Green. And in the latest movie, he's voiced over by Bradley Cooper from the Hangover movies. And that is Rocket Raccoon. Oh, and he's currently starring in his own comic book drawn by Scotty Young, which is pretty cool so far. I hope you guys join me next week when we go over Groot, the walking, talking tree. And with that, I'll see you guys next time, right here at Comic Story.